When you were a kid, just thinking about getting into the workforce here, what were you, what, what were you gonna do when you grew up? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still figuring that one out. <laughs> you know, the nice part about a business is you never really grow up, do you? Yeah, we're getting the growing up part right, but what we're doing, who knows? Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I, I wanted to be a professional athlete, but obviously, you know, I was, I was too slow, too short, and, and a bunch of other two things. And so, you know, I was trying to figure it out, and I had, a, I had an opportunity to um, intern at the Justice Department my junior summer at UCLA. And uh, that was a paid program that got pulled in, the, in May of my junior year. So I'm sitting there ass out with nothing to do. And I'd forgotten that I'd asked a fraternity brother of mine to, uh, to intern at his record label, which was A&M at the time. And he was an intern there. And he, he uh, then knocked on my door at midnight one night when I was despairing about what mm -hmm. the hell I was going to do. And uh, he said, why don't you come in tomorrow? I said, okay. And I came into to a and Records, which actually turned out to be IRS Records. Mm -hmm. And I didn't figure that out for about a month. Sure. And uh, so I lucked into the record business. Now, was that Jay Bober? That, uh, that's who I ended up working for. But that was a guy, uh, who Richard Carrillo, who uh, okay. he just left the business and he's doing other things. Okay, so I didn't know you went to UCLA. Yeah. So it was a big day for you yesterday. Go Bruins. Okay, yeah. great. And Trojans, you know, we can turn the pillow. You can throw the pillow out there. Like, <laughs> even, okay, okay, we'll just turn it around. <laughs> yeah, there, thank you. Okay. Even a blind squirrel finds. Uh, yeah, had, right. Well, because I thought, were you there at the same time as uh, Jay Bober? You were you a little bit behind? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm like a year or two behind Jay, but two years okay. behind Jay. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So UCLA and A and M, there seemed to be a pipeline going on totally. there. Yeah. And that pipeline did not run through USC. I'll have you know. Well, we we knew where our you know. <laughs> yes. By the way, first show I ever promoted was at UCLA. I knew where the, the neighborhood was a little bit nicer too. Um, so let me ask you, so you, 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 you stumble into a job in, in the record business mm -hmm. just by accident, right? No, no design. Um, had you ever, ever thought about being in the music business? You must have been a music fan. I just love up. music. You know, I love music mm -hmm. and it never really occurred to me that you could make a career out of it. Mm -hmm. So when I got in there, I mean, my goal was like, okay, free albums, free tickets and a lot of good looking women around. Sure. I'll do this for a while, right? Sure. I'll do this for a summer. And then when I got in there, I realized, wow, this is actually very interesting and exciting. So mm -hmm. I interned through my senior year and uh, Jay offered me a job when I, when I got out of school.